Good afternoon and welcome to Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. For this episode, we're focusing on women and millennial empowerment. Joining me live at NASDAQ HQ is Neza Alawi. She's the founder of Meshad Foundation. Thank you very much for joining us today at headquarters. So tell us what Meshad Foundation is about and why you decided to launch it. So Meshad Foundation is an American-based uh, NGO that operates in Africa and uh, that helps women and youth uh, in empowerment with education and entrepreneurship. All right, and so what, what advice would you give to other social entrepreneurs out there? Well, I decided to build my foundation just as I was starting my businesses. And uh, I think that uh, more people, more entrepreneurs should think of the social side in, in their business. I think that um, we don't need to have a mature business before thinking of uh, developing a foundation. Um, and uh, when we do it from the start, it kind of gives like more value to the business that we're developing and we can actually do both, you know, make money and help others. So let's talk about some of the biggest challenges that you see for underserved women in Africa and other areas around the world. In Africa, the problem is that the countries are already st struggling with the uh, economical development, which uh, already doesn't give a lot of uh, space in, in, in uh, uh, the working field to men and youth and even less to women. So uh, they're struggling with uh, developing a business, they're struggling with selling a production, and uh, with the Meshad Foundation, we're helping them with that. Okay, and so the philosophy is be who you want to be. Tell us more about that. So be who you want to be is at the core of uh, everything that I have built from the business side to the foundation. It's about leading a life with more leadership. It's about um, having a vision and creating an action plan for it and, and putting discipline in our life and, and heading towards uh, who we want to be and create ourselves. Well, let's talk about millennials, for example. There's a lot of negative stereotypes that are associated with that generation. What is Meshad Foundation doing to dispel those type of stere stereotypes and what you're doing to help millennials um, become more entrepreneurial and, and take social responsibility? I personally have a lot of hope in the new generations because they're a generation that is more connected, that uh, can access learning and education much easier than, you know, like in our, in, when I was 10 years old, I had to go to a library to, <laughs> to uh, find information. Now you can Google and you can learn everything on internet. So they're very aware of that and they train themselves, but they also need direction. Mm -hmm. And that's where I come in and I try to help with the direction and uh, giving them, showing them their social responsibility. And it, it, it does have a, a positive impact. So how do you help um, a millennial, for example, that, that they're dealing with a negative stereotype? Give us an example of this is a situation that they faced and this was a kind of advice that you gave. So um, apart from, from the foundation work on the field in mm -hmm. Africa, I also do workshops in universities where I speak to millennials that are about to finish their studies mm -hmm. and uh, I help them project themselves five years later and it's actually a very nice exercise because they don't project themselves like they you know it, it's, it's an exercise that they haven't gone through and so uh, they know that they want to be a lawyer for instance but uh, there is like many ways to be a lawyer. What is the lifestyle that you want to be uh, having? You know, you want to be in financing, you want to be traveling, you want to be behind an office. So when I go through all these questions with them, it helps them project themselves and, and narrow their vision and have more focus. Right. Well, it's super helpful because you don't get that in a classroom. No, right? so no, you don't. Real you life get experience. the academics, but right. you know, you don't uh, get the life experience. Okay. Well, thank you very much for joining <laughs> thank us. Thank you very much. And Jill. thank you as always for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, global markets reporter at Nasdaq.